I have considered radioactive spiders and kryptonite. It's all superhero stuff, right? What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? I read the book uh, almost two years ago, and it wasn't quite this big, but I fell in love with the book. I just got into the world of this obsessive love story, and I thought, I really want to see that on screen. It is quite shocking. I was really worried that I'll come back here and there'd be like 10 people and no one's heard of it. I remember when I was doing the uh, Harry Potter premiere, I, you know, I couldn't care less. I was just like, no one cared about me. They just wanted to see like, Daniel. So uh, it was much easier, but here it's like, <laughs> It's so fun. I'm so excited. I mean, there's so much energy here. And it's really, the books have unleashed a lot of creativity. Like people write songs, and they make clothes and, you know, it's kind of cool. You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Your eyes change color. And sometimes you speak like, like you're from a different time. You never eat or drink anything. You don't go out in the sunlight. How old are you? I kind of thought about him. He still has the mentality of a 17-year-old, but he's been having 100 years of experience. So, uh, you know, he's kind of just just resentful of everything, he's just bored. So I thought, yeah, that's kind of how I went up about it. We we couldn't find the perfect person that had that like otherworldly quality that looked like he could have been alive for 109 years and all that intensity and torture. And really when Robert came in, he auditioned with Kristen on my bed, the kissing scene, you could just feel the magic, the sexual tension. That's it came alive. You are my life now.